This is the amazing 3D pellet printer from am.co.za. Now what can it do? Well, with this printer, you're able to print up to 500 millimeter high 3D objects. In fact, it has a 500 by 500 by 500 cubic working area. And in this video, we are going to put it to the test. All right, so now I want the Pearl Create Slicer software on my PC. And while the 3D print gets done, because it takes quite a while to finish, I'm going to explain to you about the software. Right, so to start with, what type of files does this uh, software support? It supports STL files. So what I did is I went on the internet and looked for a specific file that I wanted to print. There are quite a few websites where you can get free 3D files. So I decided to find myself a Star Wars Stormtrooper. So I have imported my artwork onto the software as you can see. And then from here, the cool thing is you can also change the dimensions depending on what size you want the artwork to be. You can move the artwork to position, whichever position you would love to start printing from, or you can rotate it to view all sides of the artwork. So now, another cool feature is you have control over how much your layer height will be your shell structure and the wall types, your infill densities, speed, and a whole lot of other functions for you to enhance the printing. And how is this for a cool feature? You can also do a full preview of how your printing is actually going to proceed. Interesting stuff, hey? Anyway, we are going to wait for the 3D printing to finish and then we can take a look at the final product. Okay, that's cool. Not bad detailing for my first attempt. And the strength? That is pretty strong. And I tell you what, you can even add strengthening pellets into the mix. For example, carbon fiber and the likes of them. Anyways, I hope you did enjoy watching this video. And I will definitely be experimenting more on this 3D pellet printer. So, catch you soon.